Hello girls and boys. I'm coming to you from home because I'm not there. Uh, today I want to talk about Helen Creighton. Now you've heard this name mentioned before by me. And Helen Creighton did such a marvelous work with her collecting that the government of Canada um, awarded her many awards, but uh, also she was on a, uh, awarded honorary doctorates from local universities. She got a couple of them, I think. Um, I'd like to show you some of the books that she's responsible for writing about, you know, while she was collecting. I think this one is the oldest one I have, and it's called Traditional Songs from Nova Scotia, collected by Helen Creighton and Doreen Sr., who you don't hear much about, but she was kind of her sidekick. And there's all sorts of um, songs in this. And leafing through it, what I found it was they give a really good introduction. And then the, I found that the songs have generally an awful lot of verses. Here's nine verses in this one. Oh, this one's going to nine as well. Eight, six, eight. Well, that's not so bad. Twelve. So that's the, f it's not her first book, and I'm not sure when it was published, I can find that out. My next book I have is like, I, um, it's a biography, A Life in Folklore by Helen Creighton. Notice they're old hardback books, and you know, a good print, and you know, I could, with some nice pictures, which I would definitely have to enlarge, and, um... You know, it's, it's, I could read you some of this. It's very, very interesting. And she shows a map of Nova Scotia, the sea-bound coast, and shows the different places that she went to to talk to the old-timers, the old folk. Folk means people. And uh, document their memories and their stories and their songs. This third book is called uh, Maritime Folk Songs and it is written by Helen Creighton herself. And again, it's a compilation of many different songs from the Maritimes. And she divides these um, into different categories. Now, a ballad is a song that tells a story I'm sure you've all heard the word ballad before. Uh, so here's some categories. Uh, child's ballads, so songs about children. Uh, songs about love, all kinds of different kinds of uh, love, plated love, rejected love, bereaved, on it goes, love proposed. Uh, there's a, about six or seven songs of the supernatural. Humorous songs, quite a few. Uh, topical songs, so they're, it's about a story, so that's a real a story. And songs for special occasions, and specifically maritime songs. There's one here even about the Halifax explosion, which I did sing on the anniversary. I think it's in December coming up. Um, I should sing to that. And last but not least of the books that I have, I might have another one downstairs, I don't know, uh, is The Blue Nose Ghosts. And she, she is very, very well known for this book. Now, again, this is an old book, but the, the cover is pretty bad. And I have a, a newspaper clipping of some people getting dressed up historically. But it, that's a nice book in very good shape underneath the cover. So if you see a book with a cover, it's usually an older book, but that helps preserve the book itself. So this is um, kind of an interesting book. It's the stories that Nova Scotians told Helen Grayton about their experiences with the supernatural. And there's 11 different categories of the supernatural. Um, stories. And maybe a Halloween I'll read you one of those. So, um, Helen started off as an ambulance driver in the First World War. 
she was not overseas, she was here, but she, there are pictures of this great huge ambulance and then this little Helen Creighton. Helen was about up to my shoulder in height. I did see her one time when she was getting one of her many awards in the 1980s. Um, and this ambulance uh, team would go around the province to different towns or remote towns in particular for health care get their shots, get checked up on, and um, even though Helen was not a musician, she loved to listen to people tell their stories. This, uh, this team would have to stay in the town a night or two or three or four, I don't know, but in the evening with no television and probably no radio, the people would make up their own entertainment. They'd sing and play their instruments and dance, and Helen loved this, and she started writing down her experiences. Uh, when she got back, she was from Dartmouth, she got back to Dartmouth, uh, she started asking about different um, singers. She was also looking for somebody who would sing the old songs. And she found quite a few right at the mouth of Halifax Harbor. Now pretend you're going over one of the bridges and look out to the ocean. On the right side is Halifax, and the left side is Dartmouth. Now, if you go in Dartmouth out as far as what we call Eastern Passage, that's as far as you can go, unless you want to go into the ocean. <laughs> and um, there's an island there that's very, very close to shore, and it's called Devil's Island. And she heard that there were some great singers on Devil's Island. Uh, so, uh, my sister, who was also a music teacher, wrote a song for children and that tells a story, and it tells the story of Helen collecting. So, if you will look at your sheet, it's the back side of Farewell to Nova Scotia, and it's in, somebody said, printing cursive writing. You look at that. And I'm going to uh, read the chorus. You see, it's Here Comes Helen Creighton, Music and Lyrics by Hope Moen. That's my sister. Here comes Helen Creighton looking for a song. Here comes Helen Creighton traveling along with her red wheelbarrow, tape recorder too. How do you do, Miss Creighton? We've got a song for you. So that's the chorus. That's the part that repeats itself. When Helen found a singer, she did have a red wheelbarrow and she put in a very early recording device, probably with a wax cylinder on it, that would record the people singing. But she had to be right there with them and have the microphone in there um, towards her mouth. And um, she would try to write down the tunes. She had a little uh, keyboard instrument called a melodeon. And she'd also put that in her red wheelbarrow and her tape recorder and, and go to where the people were singing. And she was so pleasant and people liked her very much. There was a girl from Dartmouth, a collector she would be, of stories, songs, and pirate tales, of ships long lost at sea. Just how did she get started? What opened up that door? The night she asked Mike Matthews, has treasure been found along this shore? Mike Matthews lived in Dartmouth. And then you go to the chorus. Here comes Helen Creighton looking for a song. Here comes Helen Creighton traveling along with her red wheelbarrow, tape recorder too. How do you do, Miss Creighton? We've got a song for you. So off to Eastern Passage, Helen, she did ride. The Heartland door was open, tea and tunes inside. But Eno soon simply told her if folk songs were her quest. Over on Devil's Island, she'd find the very best. Here comes Helen Creighton looking for a song. Here comes Helen Creighton traveling along with a red wheelbarrow, tape recorder too. How do you do, Miss Creighton? We've got a song.
song for you. Then to that windy island, to Helen's they were rowed. The hen of berries met them, the Faulkner family in tow. With the finest hospitality, evenings flew by fast. As the fishermen sang her gems from out of, gems from out of their past. Here comes Helen Grayton looking for a song. Here comes Helen Grayton traveling along with a red wheelbarrow tape recorder too. How do you do, Miss Grayton? We've got a song for you. Then up and down a province, Helen drove her car, seeking songs and singers nearby and far. Her face became familiar to farmers, miners all. When they saw her coming, don't you think they call? Here comes Helen Creighton looking for a song. Here comes Helen Creighton traveling along with a red wheelbarrow tape recorder too. How do you do, Miss Creighton? We've got a song for you. I have a whole bunch here. I'm going to play you this tune. Now you don't have the advantage of having the notes. But watch my fingers. It's something that, you know, uh, uh, you know, you can understand based on your grade 5 learning. Okay, here it is. Rusty. Now, actually, we don't have to learn all this song, but I'd really like you to get that chorus in your head. Uh, I'm going to play it for you on the piano, and I won't play all the verses. I'll do the chorus, verse one, and then the chorus. And I want you to notice that the first part is in the major key. Right. And then the second part, then off to Eastern Passage. Minor key. And when you go back to the chorus, it goes back to the major key. So keep your ears alert for that.
internet. Uh, she's got some original videos of original singers and biographies and all that stuff. And that was the other word I want you to remember. Ballad. What is a ballad? A ballad is a song that tells a story. So if there's questions that pop up in your mind today that I didn't answer, I'm thinking, you know, there's things I didn't say either. Um, just jot them down on the, one of those pieces of paper I asked you to put in your pocket folder, which I hope everybody has now, okay? And then we can talk about them when I get back. So, that's Helen Creighton. That's it for today. Thank you. Bye-bye.